Welcome dear student, today we shall study a lesson that is periodic uh, periods and electronic configuration and next topic is periodic trend in the modern periodic table. Okay, so this is from lesson periodic classification of elements and this is part 5 video of this lesson for class 10. Okay, now let's revise groups and electronic configuration. Okay, so student first of all what are the group? These are the vertical columns. Okay, vertical columns are known as a groups okay and uh, how many groups we have so in modern periodic table we have 18 vertical columns and these are known as a uh, groups all right and uh, while going from top to bottom within any group one electronic shell gets added at a time and the electronic configuration of the outermost shell that is a large shell or valence shell is characteristic of a particular group that means as we go down a group that means from top to bottom the number of a shell goes on increasing okay all right and next we have is periods and electronic configuration so student periods are the seven vertical so seven horizontal uh, rows which are known as a periods and in modern periodic table we have one two seven that means seven periods are there in a modern periodic table all right so this is a uh, structure of a modern periodic table in which seven uh, periods and uh, 18 vertical columns that are known as a uh, groups all right so student the number of a valence electron is different in these elements and that means valence electron these are the L electrons which are present in the outermost shell or the large shell and while going from left to right within the period that means from left to right that means from lithium to neon okay left to right within the period the atomic number increases by one at a time and the number of valence electron also increases by one at a time that means from left to right the number of uh, sorry atomic number increases by one and uh, number of valence electron also increases in the same shell okay that means this uh, outermost shell will be same but the number of uh, electron will be increases from one to eight all right like if we, uh, we we can see in the example of a lithium to neon that is from left to right so you can observe the electrons are increasing one by one that is one up to eight but this outermost shell or valence shell will be same that means each element in a second period having same shell it is two shells are there okay now student the elements with the same number okay the elements with the same number of a shells occupied by electrons belong to the same period it means uh, they have same shell it is two three they will have same shell but different number of a electron uh, by one two eight all right and the elements in the second period namely lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon um, uh, have electrons in the two shell that is k shell and l shell okay so k shell is a first shell from the nucleus and l shell is a second shell from the nucleus so the second period having two shells that is k l n l and the elements in the third period namely sodium magnesium aluminium silicon uh, phosphorus sulfur chlorine and argon have electrons in the three shells that is k l and m okay so second period element having two shell that is k l n and uh, the third period element have three shell that is um, k l and m all right and a student um, in the modern periodic table electrons are filled in the same shell uh, these are uh, filled in the same shell while going along a period from left to right okay that means from left to right that means from sodium to argon and lithium to neon electron will fill in the same shell that is in the same large shell all right now uh, from and uh, at the beginning of the next period a new electron shell starts filling up all right and the number of elements in the first three period is determined by the electron capacity of the shells and the law of electron octet now what is the law of electron octet now according to this law the last shell should uh, hold only eight uh, electrons up to eight numbers okay that means in last valence shell only eight electrons should be there octet means eight okay and we have also law of uh, electron doublet that means in last shell only two like uh, hydrogen uh, sorry like in helium we have two electrons in the last shell all right 
okay so these are the electron capacity of electron shell here you can observe the four columns are there like shell k l m n so these are the four shell and uh, number of valence electron in the sorry number of a shell uh, are there and the formula to deduce the electron capacity is given that is 2n square okay so here one question is there what are the values of n for the shells k l and m so for k l m the values of n is 1 2 3 so that is these are the number of a shells okay value of a shell and now uh, to deduce the maximum electron capacity of the shell k l and m so the maximum electron um, capacity of the k shell is 2 and that means k shell should can now uh, have only two electrons and l shell have uh, have eight, eight electron and m can contain 18 electrons and uh, n that is a fourth shell it should contain 32 electrons okay and to reduce uh, the maximum electron capacity we have formula it is 2n square all right okay now student as per the electron holding capacity of shells two elements are present in the first period and eight elements in the second period okay so you can observe here two elements in the first period that means in the first period we have two like uh, element that is hydrogen and helium okay and in third period um, uh, and uh, in okay so these are the two elements in first shell okay and in second element uh, second period we have eight electron that is lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon okay and in third shell also we have eight element that is sodium magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine and argon all right so student the third period also contains only eight element due to the law of octet it means a last shell contain um, eight electrons all right and the chemical reactivity of an element is determined by the number of a valence electron now what are the valence electron these are the electrons which are there in last shell or outermost shell in it and the shell number of the valence shell valence shell is the last shell and valence electron and the number of electron present in the last shell or valence shell all right so here you can observe the law of electron that means a last shell contain eight electron maximum eight electron all right and the information of these points is obtained from the position of the element in the periodic table and that is the mom that is the, the modern periodic table has proved useful for study of elements that is from one up to 118 okay now our next topic is periodic trends in the modern periodic table okay so student when the properties of element in the period or a group of the modern periodic table are compared that means uh, like a uh, characteristic of period and groups are compared certain regularity is observed in their variation okay so regularity is observed in their variation and it is called the periodic trend in the pro modern periodic table that means some regularities are observed with the variation so this is called the periodic trends in the modern periodic table all right and in this standard in this lesson we have to study the property trends uh, in valency uh, atomic size and last is metallic and non-metallic character of different element all right now let us first study about the valency okay so first we will study about the valency now student first of all what is a valency so the property of an element property of an element which tells about its power of combining with other element is known as valency all right and it is major of number of electron present in the outermost shell of an atom that means how many electrons are there in the last shell or valence shell of an element and uh, how the and how the electrons are uh, that is uh, losing gaining or sharing to uh, different at atoms to form a new compounds or new bonds okay that means capacity of an atom to give give the electron accept the electron or share the electron to achieve their octet state right that means just to attain the stability okay now here first example is sodium okay so here you can observe the sodium so sodium last shell of the sodium only one electron is there okay so sodium will easily lose its one electron and it will come uh, complete its octet state okay so the, the valency of a sodium will be one all right and next is a chlorine so in chlorine uh, there are total seven electrons are there okay and to complete its octet state it requires one more electron so what will chlorine will do chlorine will accept or gain one electron to complete its octet state okay that means it is accepting one electron that's why its valency is one okay and third we have is carbon okay in so in carbon last shell we have four electron so to complete its octet state what it will do it will share 
इट विल नीदर गेन और और एक्सेप्ट इट विल शेयर फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम अदर एलिमेंट और अदर एटम जस्ट टू कंप्लीट इट्स ऑक्टेट स्टेट ओके सो द वैलेंसी ऑफ अ कार्बन विल बी शेयर ओके वैलेंसी ऑफ अ कार्बन विल बी फोर सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द वैलेंसी ओके नाउ स्टूडेंट here a different symbol electronic configuration and valency of a sodium is given so symbol of sorry not sodium uh, potassium is given so symbol of potassium is k and the atomic number of a potassium is 19 all right and the electronic configuration of so potassium will be 2881 that means in k shell so potassium will have two electron in uh, l shell potassium will have eight electron m shell eight electron and the last shell it will have that is n shell it is having one electron so uh, sodium will uh, sorry potassium will easily donate or lose one electron to complete its octet state and that is why the valency of potassium is one because it is losing one electron okay so the valency of potassium will be one all right and student from electronic configuration we come to know the number of a valence electron that is the number of a electron in the last shell or in the outermost shell and the valency of an element is determined from valence electron that means how many electrons are there in the last shell whether they will accept gain or share the electron so this is all about the valency and that is how many electron it has to lose or gain or share to complete its outermost orbit or to complete its octet state all right now next property is atomic size so for, uh, what is atomic size so student atomic size is the distance between the center of the nucleus of an atom and its outermost shell okay so alongside you can observe one picture in which a nucleus is represented by the black dot black circle so okay so the distance between the center of the nucleus of an atom and its last shell it is last shell whatever it will be k l m n last shell okay so distance between the new center of the nucleus and the last shell or the outermost shell it is known as the atomic radius so this is nucleus and this is outermost shell so distance between these two it will be atomic radius or atomic size okay and the size of an atom is indicated by its radius and atomic radius is expressed in the unit picometer that is pm which is smaller than the nanometer okay we know that nanometer is very smaller but this picometer is a uh, again is smaller than the nanometer so 1 picometer is equals to 10 raised to minus 12 meter all right okay now student here some elements and their atomic radii are given so these are the elements which uh, belongs to the uh, which belongs to which period so these are the element which belongs to second period okay that is lithium beryllium oxygen boron carbon all right so here elements are given and their atomic radius are given like atomic radius uh, oxygen is 66 and atomic radius is beryllium is 111 all right and here also atomic radius is given that means you will find that atomic radius goes on decreasing while going from left to right that means when we are going from uh, in a period left to right so atomic radius will be decreasing you can observe here the size of a lithium is a greater than beryllium is smaller than last neon is much smaller than the lithium that means atomic atomic size or atomic radius will be decreases as we move from left to right this decreases okay and while going from left to right within a period the atomic number increases one by one meaning the positive charge on the nucleus increases by one unit at a time so as we are moving from uh, left to right its positive charge increases that's why atomic radius will be decreases all right and however the additional electron gets added to the same last shell or the same valence shell or outermost shell and due to the increased nuclear charge the electrons are pulled towards the nucleus to a greater extent and thereby the size of the atom decreases so as the nuclear charge increases so size of the atom will be decreases but the electrons will add it continue adding in the last shell of an element or atom all right okay now here we have the atomic radius in a group in a group okay so while going down a group the atomic size goes on increasing okay so in previous slide we have seen uh, while going from left to right within a period atomic size decreases all right but here when we are moving from um, 
top to bottom or going down a group the atomic size goes on increasing why this is because while going down a group a new shell is added all right a new shell is added it means from hydrogen to cesium uh, hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium and cesium the atomic size will increases hydrogen is a smaller and cesium atomic sizes increases more why because the uh, um, at a new at new shell is added okay and therefore the distance between the outermost electron and the nucleus goes on increasing and as the distance increasing its uh, radius will increases okay and as a result of this the atomic size increases in spite of the increased nuclear charge okay so in um, periods increases due to the increasing in atomic uh, nuclear charge atomic size will be re reduces but as we moving from uh, as we going down a group as a new shell increases one by one so its size will also increases because the distance between the nucleus and the last shell is increases so therefore atomic size will also increases down a group so that's it student that's it for today's video i hope you all have understood this uh, topic very well in next part we will continue in next session thank you